Hello everyone, my name is Teo Salvador, welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever. We're here, kind of where we left off in the previous episode. We have a coal train coming in, um, and they're going to sell coal, which is going to make the beautiful steel that they're going to send over to the machine factory. And first thing we're going to do today is we're going to actually take train number 5, and we're going to send him to the depot. Um, because I'm going to upgrade him. Uh, we're not going to give him a new engine. However, I would like to give this guy some more freight cars. Um, this will allow us to increase our production here at the, uh, steel mill. So that's what we're gonna do. Anyways, it's Tuesday. It's not Tuesday. It's Thursday. It's the other Tuesday. Hopefully everybody's having a good week. Um, yeah, it's been a really long week for me. I haven't been able to record all week, and this is the first day I'm able to record. Um, just went live about half an hour ago. I was live about half an hour ago with Seven Days to Die. Uh, we're doing that Thursday stream as we normally do. Anyways, let's wait for this train to get back to the depot, and then we're going to upgrade it. We have $1 million. Um, that's actually a good thing. One other thing I'd like to see is if... Oh, what are you? Ooh, no, you're going to the depot. Never mind. I thought, wait a minute, we have another coal train here. No, we don't. Um, that's a train that's coming back to the depot. Um, I wanted to add another train onto our oil line. Um, right now we have one train, and they're not able to keep this place satisfied. You can see it says zero. Um... We have a lot stored here. So I was going to see if maybe I could get another train going in. Um, I'm going to buy this one because I think this is just going to be the best train for us to get. Because it's, it's a small train. It's easy. It, 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 it you know, it, it pulls its weight. Let's see. How many of you can I... Oh, my gosh. I really can. Okay. All right. I mean, that's not half as many as I was hoping for. I was hoping that I could get maybe a couple more. But that is okay, I guess. Um, hmm. <laughs> should I do that now? Part of me feels like maybe I should wait on that. Uh, we have a coal train coming in. It's over here. Okay. So, yeah. I guess we should just take a look at our system real quick. Things we gotta do. We have to upgrade this line here. Because look at all the oil they have waiting. This train can't satisfy that. Um, we have to get a line from here, um, the Fort Collins fuel refinery, to go up to Wilmington, because that's where they'll sell uh, fuel. We have to get the food line running from here to over here, and then they can start producing food, which goes to Tulsa, Wilmington, uh, Lansing, which also takes oil, and I believe that's it. Um, would not hurt to also get the, what is this? This is like, um, uh, what is this? This is uh, tools. Would also not hurt to get that running as well. We have a lot of things we gotta do. Ooh, I have two million dollars. Is this guy back at the depot yet? No, he's waiting. He's ever so patiently waiting right here. Well, to be completely honest, I guess that while we're waiting for this train to come in, it's a great time for us to rack up some extra dollars. Um, how is this guy doing? Ooh, you know what? Not... Look at all the wood we have here. I was gonna say, you know, it wouldn't hurt to upgrade this train. But to be honest, I don't think we actually need to upgrade the train. Look at how much is here. Um, if we could ever increase the production of this, um, then maybe we could upgrade the lumber train so we could bring more lumber to the Sala Machines factory. Of course, we're not there yet. Once I can get more coal, then we can start producing more iron, and uh, this train right here will be having less of an issue. Because see, the reason that this train isn't able to fill up is because there's no coal. So that's part of why I want to upgrade the coal train which it has just arrived back at the depot, so let's go upgrade this guy. How do I upgrade him? I go to here, edit selected vehicle, and then I can do one, two, three, how many of these can I add? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15. All right, I think that'll do. That's 105 capacity, which isn't that terrible, if I'm honest. Not too bad, all right. Um, that, that'll hold a hundred and, can I maybe take it to a little more? I can maybe do that. How many freight cars is this, by the way? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I might have miscounted one. Okay. You know what? This'll do. This'll do. Um, let's take this train out and he's going to go on to the coal line. There we go. Let's watch the beautiful train as he leaves the factory. Look at that. I gotta say, we could do some maintenance on this train. Look at how rusty it is. Yeah, the age of this locomotive is definitely showing. It's only six years old. Oh no, no, the age isn't showing just yet. But it will eventually. But you can see the difference between these cars and the new ones. The, you know, the, the, the new ones are a little bit cleaner than the used ones. 
which is something I do love about this game, is the fact that, you know, vehicles do eventually wear out. But now this is our longest train that we have in the system, so very cool. This guy is just going to go on his merry way now, so he's going to earn us the new line. Wow, so this is why we need to upgrade our coal line. So look at the iron. We have zero iron right now. And with all the coal, the iron that just arrived, excuse me, iron, they were only able to make six machine parts. This is why we need to upgrade the coal line, because if we get more coal here, we will be able to produce more iron. And in turn, we'll be producing more machines, which will hopefully earn us more money. Because my plan is, I want to be able to service most of these towns with the machine parts that they require. Um, we also have this place, actually, which... This place does make machine parts. Um, they require silver bars as well as steel, which isn't really beneficial because the steel is where our issue is. So it's more worth it to just keep this place running. Um, who else requires machines, actually? Um, Tulsa requires machines. Do I have a, a line going there? I don't have a line going to Tulsa. Interesting. All right, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to do it because I don't have the money. Ugh. We has a problem. Warning. Vehicles reported the following problems. Ah. Um. Ah. Yeah, that is an issue. You're, you're right about that. Um. Hmm. You're right. You're right. That is a little bit of a problem, isn't it? You go back. Okay, that's a little bit of an issue. Um. Hmm. All right. I guess what we can do then is we can demolish that one. Um. That's not going to be an issue here. So we'll demolish this light here, and that will allow uh, that will allow trains coming from the steel mill to have priority. Um, actually, no, it'll allow trains going to the steel mill to have priority uh, because there's no light here. Unless they're here, uh, then they'll stop at this light here, which isn't really what I wanted, but that's an issue that sometimes you run into if you have lights like this. There's a reason why I don't put a, a, you know, a signal like this. Because if you put a signal like this, you're going to run into head-on collisions here. So that's why, uh, you know, that's why I'm very strategic about the way that I put signals. Uh, but there we go. Look at that. Our coal train is flying at 40 kilometers an hour, which is actually pretty good. He's stopping at the steel mill. Ah, silly train. Meanwhile, this guy brings the, imme uh, the immediate. This guy brings the beautiful coal to the steel mill. I'm going a little too fast. Slow down. Yeah, how is this guy going, by the way? 45 kilometers an hour. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna buy a train real quick. Um, I'm just gonna buy this as like a little kind of helper train. Um, we're not gonna be able to buy that much because we don't have a lot of money, but we can at least get a couple freight cars for this. Uh, no. Okay, so this is gonna be four freight cars. We'll buy a little cheeky caboose as well to put on the back. There we go. Um, this train here is going to help the, um, they're gonna help the Solemn Oil Refinery line because my plan is that I would like to upgrade this train here. Um, with more freight cars. However, I need to have another train running on the line because the issue we're going to run into is um, this factory here is going to eventually remove all this oil here. And at least if we have one train running on it, um, then we're, we're not going to run into the issue of, uh, you know, this factory going bye-bye with their supply, if that makes any sense at all. Um, by the way, I think our coal train's about to arrive. No, he's a little bit of a distance away. Um, and, okay, now that we have this new train here, I'm gonna need to build some stuff. Um, yard track, here we go. We're gonna need to build a little siding because now we run into the little itsy- Oh, I don't have money, never mind. Wow, jeez, how much money does this thing cost? What? Excuse me? Okay, sorry, I, I don't know why I read that as not enough money. Sorry, Mateo's losing it. All right. Uh, oops. Uh, how far am I going to build this? What What is wrong with my mouse today? I, I don't know. I, I'm like, I'm, I was streaming like half asleep today. I, I wasn't having a good time. I mean, I was having a good time, don't get me wrong, but I was like half asleep during the, uh, the live stream today. All right. So now we have a little siding, and that's just because of the fact that we have two trains running on it. Um, all right. Gonna put that right there. And then let's put one in the center. There we go. And it might not hurt to have another siding through here. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, let's put another siding in. There we go. Oops, game. 
All right, I'll put it up to about right there, and then um, that'll do right there. Ashram, thank you. Uh, are those side? Did I? Interesting. I meant to build that. A... I must not have selected that then. Hold on. Sorry, Mateo's losing it. Mateo's losing his mind. It's, it's just proof that he's half asleep. <laughs> All right. Shablam. Uh, shablam. And shablam. Even though that's not per that's perfect. It's not perfectly centered, but it's good enough. All right. Has this train arrived yet? Yes. And he is bringing the beautiful coal at 32 kilometers an hour. Look at this. How, what is his weight, by the way? 30, 322 tons. That's actually pretty heavy, considering. But there we go. This is going to help us tremendously with the uh, uh, steel production. Um, and actually, it looks like they might want to upgrade eventually, uh, which would be a lot of fun. Uh, but we're not there yet. How is this guy doing with steel? Look at that. He, 27 steel. This place can't even produce anything because of the, the lack of steel. And we have a boxcar train. He's actually transporting a fair amount of uh, machines. That's actually a fair number because that's almost a complete train. Um, but it would be nice to have more. So that he's, you know, transporting everything he can do. Ah, uh, look at the horses. You know what, let's hey. just ride, um... Uh, let's, let's take a ride on this horse here. We watched the train. Sorry, I was going a little too quickly. Um, I was going a little too quickly. He's gonna go across the diamond now. Which, diamonds always have very, very, like, uh, satisfying noises when the freight cars go over them. You always make that clatter clack sound, right? With the wheels and everything like that. Unfortunately, this game doesn't have that, but that is okay. And is this town actually upgrading? It almost looks like this town might be upgrading with some new roads as well, which is pretty neat. Here we go. This guy is slowly doing his thing. He's traveling at 25 kilometers an hour because this is a siding track. Because your boy was a moron. He decided to build a siding track here instead of a, uh, you know, instead of a, um, you know, a, a standard track. Is the coal train arriving? Ah, the coal train is about to arrive. Let's keep a let's keep an eye on this guy for a second. All right. Um, how much money do you earn us? Ah, ooh, one hundred eighty-five thousand dollars. That's actually a fair bit of money. How much is this guy going to earn us? This coal train now. He's slowly moving it. We have a steel train coming in. Look at that. Oh, this is going to help us so much. Because now, you know what this is going to do? This is almost going to equal the amount of uh, iron that we have here. Ah, look at that. I mean, it's not going to equal it completely, but it's... That's a fair bit. Let's see if this train actually loads up everything. Because if this train actually loads up everything, that would be pretty neat. Alright, we have a million dollars. I'm going to start working on a passenger route. That's what we're going to do next. We're going to start working on a passenger route. Um... Okay, he's he's producing. Let's just take does, does, you know let's let's just keep an eye on this guy for a second, um, and see what this guy does. Because actually, I'm hoping that he'll be able to fill up. I mean, so far, just a little bit more. There we go. This the train is full for the first time ever. Our iron train is completely full, which is really really good. Okay, um, I'm gonna build a little passenger train. Um, where do you reckon we should go? I almost want to make it to Tulsa, because if we make it to Tulsa, we'll be able to go to Fort Collins, then we'll be able to go to Solemn, and we'll be able to connect to Lansing. Although, we could have... Okay, yeah, you know what? We're just going to start with a cheeky train line. We're just going to start with a, a little train line. Um, it's not going to be anything special, but we're going to start with something here. Uh, let's bring this track out this way. Let's bring this track out this way. There we go. It looks like a little triangle. Awesome. Perfect. Um, let's build a little passenger station. Um, I'm gonna build, you know what, I'm gonna build it as a, uh, this one, here we go. And then I'm gonna have it as that. And do you reckon I could just kind of like, you know, plop it in here somewhere? I almost kind of reckon that, I mean, even if we have to destroy a couple buildings, I'm not too concerned about it, honestly. I mean, it's not too bad. If we have to destroy a couple buildings, it's not gonna be a heavy issue at all. There we go. Um, actually, no, 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 I don't want to do that. Um, sorry, Mateo, Mateo's a moron. Um, all right, I guess that'll do right there. There we go. And then what I like to do 
is build a little kind of cargo platform, which I think is what we already did in the other station. There we go. We'll build a little cargo. Build a little cargo platform like that, and we will put in another track right here. There we go. And so that way, we at least have one platform for cargo, two platforms for uh, passenger. We could also add another track right here and make a second platform for cargo, but. I'm not too worried about that. Um, we don't really need to worry about that that much. And look at that, that's actually on a hill. It's a little bit nerve wracking. A little bit nerve wracking, but eh, whatever. All right, I'm gonna take this out this way. What is that ground texture, by the way? I don't know that ground texture, all right. Bring it out like this. And we're gonna need to connect it to over there. Oh, look at this. Let's see how much this guy earns us now that his train is full. Which I didn't even know I had him selected, but apparently I do have him selected. Alright. I'm going to make this into a little siding. That's why I'm going to bring it out this way. And then I think right here I'm going to bring this across like this. Sorry, by the way, if I'm talking a little quietly. I don't know if what the audio sounds like. You know what? I might just take the game audio down. Because I, I feel like the game's really loud. I'm sorry, I'm still testing audio in the game. I'm still testing audio. I'm sorry if I'm, like, really quiet. But, you know, whatever. This is the problems with getting a new computer, right? All right. Let's see how this guy works. Oops, what is this? Hello? Oh. Okay, I didn't know that would do that. All right. Um, how much do you earn us? Ah, 244000 That's actually pretty good. All right, that's pretty nice. Okay, so now that I did that little siding like that, um, I'm going to bring it out just, yeah, should I bring it out a little further? I'm going to bring it out a little further. There we go. Bring it out a little further. And I'm going to bring it to a single track section. Sorry, I'm going to bring it out to a single track section. I didn't mean to demolish that. Mateo's going to get a little creative here. There we go. Um, oh, that's a yard. What? Excuse me? Uh, does, this, does the game not like me doing this? Does the game not like this? Okay, the game... Oh, that's weird. That's really funky. Why Why did the game not want that to be... No, see, look at that. That's really weird. Why is the game automatically making this into standard track? That's really funky. Huh. Interesting. Okay, there we go. That's weird. How, like, you can only make it yard track from one section. That's really weird. And by the way, the only reason I'm doing this is for just detail. Just detail. That's why. Oh, those tracks are shiny. Look at that. God, those tracks are shiny. <laughs> All right, we have the gear line. The gear line's doing really good. We have a million dollars, which means that we might be able to get a passenger train rolling today, which would be a lot of fun. All right, I'm going to bring this out this way, and then we'll have, like, a little scenic line going through here. Maybe we could put some trees down. That could be kind of cool, putting some trees down in here. Ooh, that's nice. My camera got delivered. Yay. Um, I'm planning on, uh, I, sorry, if you're on my Discord, I, I was talking about how I might be making some new content. Um, my camera just arrived, and I might be starting a new channel. I, this is the first time I'm actually officially announcing it. I didn't mean to announce it right now, but my camera just arrived, and I thought, you know what, what the heck, I'm just going to announce it. Um, yeah, I might have a, a new channel coming. It's going to be... See, the thing is, is the I, I'm, I'm finding myself having a little issue um, where I, I sometimes lack motivation to make gaming content because that's all that I focus on. And I wanted to branch out to some different forms of content. Um, and I was hoping that maybe working on some projects that aren't really gaming related um, could kind of help me f get motivation to, you know, it would kind of help me stay motivated. You know what I mean? Working on different projects. I don't really know yet. It's an idea. We'll see what ends up happening. Um, but yeah. So there you go. I finally announced it. All right. Should I bring a crit? Oh my god. That's a little funky. <laughs> uh, that's a little wonky. Dang. Um, whew, that's, yeah. That's a, that's a really tight track there, Mateo. Maybe I should make it a yard track. I mean, it, you know, it's not like they can go really any faster. You reckon that I could do something like this? I was really hoping that I'd be able to... 
I mean, maybe I could make like a little diamond right here. I mean, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna make a diamond. Screw it. Diamond is being made. There we go. Diamond has been made. That looks a little funky. That looks almost just as funky as the one at Fastoria because it actually does this. And it looks really scary when trains go over it because they like dip for a second. All right, uh, I'm gonna buy some vehicles. Let's buy a new train here. And this is probably gonna, ooh, should I buy the, this one? I'm gonna buy this one because it's a passenger train. Let's have, ooh, I, okay, I didn't mean to buy three of those. <laughs> uh, how many, ooh, jeez, that's expensive. Jeez Louise. Um, 42 passengers actually wouldn't suck. Um, all right, let's get a little cheeky caboose to go with it and let's buy it. There we go. And this is gonna go onto our first passenger line. There we go. And by the way, if you're curious, um, actually, no, never mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it later. I might talk about it during my run a video. Never mind about my, uh, my idea to make some different forms of content. Okay, so now that we did that, we're gonna do one final thing today. Um, because it is already, it's like 12 o'clock already, which I didn't have breakfast today. Um, my fault, I know. And people who know me in person are gonna be like, bro, you need to eat. Because, I don't know, I, I never ate lunch. Used to, and people used to always get really mad at me. Because... <laughs> It'd be like, bro, you're going to kill yourself. But anyways, I have no money for train stations. Whatever. I need to build some passenger stations. Can we just have like a couple bucks? You know, maybe we could rob a bank and earn some money. Although, because I built the train station here, um, there is some access to it. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like passengers are actually taking it. This, this town right here is very dead, if I'm honest with you. Oh, I just bit my tongue twice. How are you working? We have one passenger. Look at that. This is a very busy intersection. So this was a good place to put this train station down. Um, yeah. Yay, I have money. All right, let's start building. Uh, let's just build like a little coach. Uh, like a little coach. Uh, you know, like a... Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know how to speak. Um, like a... You know, you know, you know, you know? Player ownership. I'm going to buy it. You know, it's going to be mine. Can I actually upgrade this? I'm just curious. Ooh, No. Can upgrade it. All right. Okay. Um, this is gonna cost some money. Ooh, God, this is, that's a scary amount of money. That's a scary amount of money. All right. You know what? It's fine. I'm gonna just build a little, a little tiny. Yes, it's mine. And you know what? I'd like to fruit, uh, fruiture, fruiture. Uh, no. What does key mean? I'm not really too sure about that. All right. Player ownership. It is mine. Um. It'd be nice if I could demolish that little road right there, because now this throws a little dent into my plans. Um, awesome. Thanks, game. Fine. Uh, fine. You know what? You know what? It's fine. I'm just gonna build a little road that goes out this way. No, because that demol- <sighs> If- if I do this... Okay, if I do this, um, I can then do, like, a little curve deal. Ooh, that looks really ugly. Never mind. I was gonna say, I could do, like, a little curve deal. There we go. Um, this is gonna be, like, train station street. Can I... There we go. That doesn't look too bad. This is gonna be a temporary thing. We're, we'll eventually fix this, because I know what you're looking... You're looking at this, and you're gonna be like, bro, that looks really ugly. And you know what? Honestly, I agree with you. But unfortunately, the owners are not being very nice, and they're not allowing me to connect that. Um, I would like to just demolish this little section right here and then expand this this way. But unfortunately, I can't do that. So, big rip. Eh, it's okay, though. All right, by the way, the game's lagging, and I have no idea why. So I'm sorry if it's annoying anybody. It's annoying me just as much as it's annoying you. All right, let's let's get a new train station here. A uh, train station. Let's get another line. My name is Bus. Uh, bus. Bus. Um, bus. What is the name of this town? Wilmington. I'm going to spell it wrong. All right, Wilmington. Click to add stop. All right, there we go. And we'll just have like a little circle line going. There we go. And that's going to be the departure or the last station on the line. And then he's going to go back to 6th Street. All right, there we go. Very good. I need to build a little, uh, whatchamadeal. Um, there we go. Oh my God, that's a lot of money. What is that? Why is that blue? Ah, you know what I could do? You know something I could do? Uh, I want to expand that a little. You know what? I'm going to put this on the hill. I don't have money. Never mind. 
Funny, I just started talking and then I never started my recording. Um, okay, we're going to take the road out just a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to take this road out like maybe right there, maybe we'll do. And then I'm going to add... We're going to add one of these buildings. All right, there we go. And this is going to allow us to get buses. Now, the thing with buses is I found that they will never earn you money. Um, interesting. Do I have European... Do I have European vehicles here? I might have that. Oops, I... That's weird. Uh, okay, okay. Well, whatever. All right, uh, who hauls more? You know what? I'm going to get you. Let's buy uh, 10 of those. I can't buy 10 of those because it costs a lot of money. How about five of those? No, I can't. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just let's just earn some money. Um, how how is uh, how is this doing, by the way? Oh, look at that! Two gears are left over after the train just departed. Um, two gears are left over after the train just departed. And this guy has 25 out of 28. Um, you're not working at max capacity, man. What's going on here? Oh, wow. What the heck? Wait, what? What's going on here? This guy? Oh, excuse me? Where do you come? Oh, I'm stupid. You're coming from... Yeah. That guy's the lumber train. Sorry, my bad. Oh, look at that. I have a million dollars. All right, let's go back to here and let's pretend that I, you know, never did that. How about we buy five of these? And to be a little fancy, uh, we will buy five of these guys. There we go. And we're going to put this on the Wilmington line. And the thing about bosses is, I mean, I guess these aren't very bus. I mean, these are 1800s bosses, okay? Um, thing about bosses, you should never have bosses with the idea that you're going to earn money off of it. I've learned you're never going to earn money. Excuse me, you're never going to earn money with these things. But the idea of having these things going around town is they're going to, I'm sorry, I'm like having like hiccups as I'm trying to talk here. Um, they're going to bring passengers from everywhere else and they're going to bring them to the train station. So while it's not going to earn you a lot of money, in short term, it will certainly help you um, earn money um, because it's gonna it's gonna bring passengers to the train station, and then the train station's gonna take them to wherever. There we go. I know I just spent a lot of money to finish building this, but yeah, it's okay. I wanted to do that anyways. Look at that! How beautiful this street is. And the thing is, we own it. Um, so when paved roads start to become a thing, and these old school like stone roads go bye bye. Um, this road's gonna stay stone because we own it. And um, there's a street near where to I where bah, 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 bah. there's a street where I live um, called Railroad Street, and it's a it's an old brick road, and um, it's a it's a historical road that's just it's brick, um, and it, it's just like that. So I don't know. We have landmarks. We're building landmarks here. All right. Uh, why do I have four platforms? I must have built four platforms. It's okay. We have five passengers waiting. Um, let's build one more bus station here at Tulsa, and then that's going to be the end of the episode. Um, because it's... I've been recording for, like, the last however many hours. Um, you know, because... I, I, yeah. I've been recording for some time, and live for quite some time as well. So, yep, that's where that's going. Alright, uh, let's put a bus station... Let's put a bus station. This place actually takes uh, gears as well. Interesting. Most of these towns here. Okay, we will need to get a line from uh, the, the machine plant to Tulsa once we can get like a better, um, kind of like a, a better resource thing going on. Kind of a nice thing to do. All right, bus station right in front of there. And we can start making a circle line, which it's not going to be very circular, but you know. Passenger Tulsa. Excuse me, I intended to name this boss, but I named the passenger. <laughs> My bad. Boss. Hey, and finally, you know what? You know what we haven't done in this series? And I was thinking about this while I was planning. Um, I was thinking about the fact that this series is very train heavy. Um, and the fact that we haven't really done much bus stuff. But here we go. Now we have a bus line going in. There we go. It should get everybody. Let's get some buses going in. What buses should we have? Um, stagecoaches. No, I'm going to get these. Uh, let's get uh, 10 of these guys going, and they're just going to go around town and start picking up passengers. There we go. Tulsa. There we go. Go out, my minions. And these horses will last forever, even if it's like, hey, their life expectancy is up. These horses don't die. <laughs> the only thing that dies is the vehicle themselves. Okay. 
Um, how's this guy doing? He's got four passengers. Not too good, not too bad. But I gotta say, this is a very scenic line we got going on here. Take a look at this. What happens if I was to ride this? Is it gonna... Yeah, it's gonna make everything invisible. No, it's not, actually. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. There we go. Well, awesome. I think that this is a good place to end the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Join my Discord. I, I do stream on Twitch, by the way. I also have a TikTok. If your life has fallen as low as mine has. We're a little bit of a ways away from the station. But thank you for watching. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Peace.